Alberta Class 7 Learner's License Test 2024. A broken line at the left of your lane means 1. You may pass if the way is clear. 2. You may only pass during daylight hours. 3. You may never pass. 4. You may pass at any time. The answer is 1. You may pass if the way is clear. Broken line markings. Broken lines mean that crossing the broken line to pass or change lanes is permitted. What does this road sign mean? 1. Sharp turn or bend in the road. 2. Free flow. 3. Winding road ahead. 4. Dead end. The answer is 4. Dead end. The dead end sign is a warning sign. Dead end signs are posted at the entrance of a road or street to let the driver know the path they are on ends in a dead end or cul-de-sac. Drivers who encounter a dead end sign should be warned that the street they are on will not connect through to a different street. Is it legal for a driver to back a vehicle into an intersection or a crosswalk in a city? 1. Only when there is no traffic. 2. Yes provided proper signals are made. 3. Yes. 4. No. The answer is 4. No. When a pedestrian indicates a desire to cross the street. 1. You must stop your vehicle before entering the crosswalk and allow the pedestrian to cross. 2. You can proceed provided you sound your horn. 3. Warn the pedestrian to stop and proceed with care. 4. You should reduce speed and go straight through with care. The answer is 1. You must stop your vehicle before entering the crosswalk and allow the pedestrian to cross. When you see a red X above your lane, you should. 1. Slow down for pedestrians. 2. Stay in that lane. 3. Change lanes. 4. Watch for hazards. The answer is 3. Change lanes. When a red X is displayed over a driving lane, the driver does not enter or remain in that lane. This signal indicates that the lane is being used by oncoming traffic. Move safely into a lane with a green arrow. When a red X is displayed over a driving lane, what should the driver do? 1. Do not enter, move safely into a lane with a green arrow. 2. Stop and wait for the red X to disappear. 3. Use the lane only if no oncoming traffic is visible. 4. Enter the lane and proceed with caution. The answer is 1. Do not enter, move safely into a lane with a green arrow. When a red X is displayed over a driving lane, the driver does not enter or remain in that lane. This signal indicates that the lane is being used by oncoming traffic. Move safely into a lane with a green arrow. It is not recommended to follow cyclists too closely because 1. They always wish to compete with motor vehicles. 2. They may stop anywhere in the lane. 3. They should be treated as pedestrians on the road. 4. They do not have brake lights to warn you when they are stopping. The answer is 4. They do not have brake lights to warn you when they are stopping. Do not follow too closely behind cyclists. They do not have brake lights to warn you when they are stopping. If someone is passing you on a two-lane highway, you should 1. Move quickly to the left side of your lane. 2. Move slightly to the right of your lane. 3. Move slowly to the left side of your lane. 4. Stop immediately. The answer is 2. Move slightly to the right of your lane. When being passed on a two-lane highway, help the driver passing you by staying in your lane. Move to the right side of your lane to give the other driver a better view of the road ahead. What does this road sign mean? 1. Dead end street ahead. 2. Stop sign ahead. 3. Slow moving vehicle, traveling less than 40 km per hour. 4. Yield right of way to vehicle ahead. The answer is 3. Slow moving vehicle, traveling less than 40 km per hour. A slow moving vehicle sign is placed on the back of vehicles that travel less than 40 km per hour, such as farm tractors, machinery, or construction equipment. This sign warns drivers to be prepared to reduce their speed. At a four way intersection with stop signs on all corners, two vehicles arrive at the same moment. Courtesy rules demand that which vehicle proceeds first? 1. The one carrying the highest speed. 2. The one coming from the left. 3. The largest vehicle by the length. 4. The one coming from the right. The answer is 4. The one coming from the right. Vehicles approaching from each direction are required to stop. All drivers must use courtesy and caution. Courtesy is to allow the vehicle that arrived first to proceed first. If two vehicles arrive at the same time, courtesy allows the vehicle on the right to proceed first.
you must not proceed unless you can do so safely. What term is often used to refer to intersections where stop signs are located at all corners? 1. Four-way stops. 2. Courtesy corners. 3. All stop intersections. 4. Universal stop corners. The answer is 2. Courtesy corners. 3 and 4-way stop intersections, where stop signs are located at all corners, are sometimes referred to as courtesy corners. Vehicles approaching from each direction are required to stop. All drivers must use courtesy and caution. Courtesy is to allow the vehicle that arrived first to proceed first. If two vehicles arrive at the same time, courtesy allows the vehicle on the right to proceed first. You must not proceed unless you can do so safely. When two vehicles approach a four-way stop sign intersection at right angles to each other and at the same time. 1. The vehicle approaching from the right should be given the courtesy of proceeding first. 2. The vehicle approaching from the left should be given the courtesy of proceeding first. 3. The vehicle traveling fastest should have priority. 4. Stop within a safe distance. The answer is 1. The vehicle approaching from the right should be given the courtesy of proceeding first. What is the purpose of route marker signs on roads? 1. They indicate the availability of road service. 2. They indicate numbers, names or designations of roads. 3. They display the combination of roads. 4. They indicate the distance to a destination. The answer is 2. They indicate numbers, names or designations of roads. Route marker signs indicate numbers, names or other designations of roads. Off-road services signs indicate the availability of, and direction to, off-road services or recreational facilities. What does this road sign mean? 1. Road slippery when wet. 2. Narrow road ahead. 3. Hidden intersection ahead. 4. Winding road ahead. The answer is 4. Winding road ahead. Motorists approaching a section of roadway with multiple curves are advised of the roadway hazard ahead with the use of the winding road sign. It also indicates that there are three or more curves in a row on the road ahead. You are parking your vehicle facing uphill on a street without a curb. In which direction should you be turning your front wheels? 1. Straight ahead. 2. Towards the center of the road, to the left. 3. Towards the edge of the road, to the right. 4. Any of the above. The answer is 3. Towards the edge of the road, to the right. When parking facing uphill on a street without a curb, turn your front wheels to the right, toward the edge of the road. By doing this, if the vehicle starts to move it will go off the road and not into traffic. You are parking your vehicle facing uphill on a street with a curb. In which direction should you be turning your front wheels? 1. Straight ahead. 2. Towards the center of the road, to the left. 3. Towards the edge of the road to the right. 4. Any of the above. The answer is 2. Towards the center of the road, to the left. When parking facing uphill on a street with a curb, turn the front wheels to the left, toward the center of the road. With the wheels turned, allow your vehicle to roll back slowly until the right front tire is touching the curb. This helps to prevent the vehicle from rolling into traffic if it starts to move. When parking facing downhill you should. 1. Turn your front wheels towards the curb or right shoulder. 2. Turn your front wheels to the left and set your parking brake. 3. Just set your parking brake. 4. Leave your front wheels parallel to the curb. The answer is 1. Turn your front wheels towards the curb or right shoulder. When parking facing downhill, always turn your front wheels to the right. If there is a curb, allow your vehicle to roll to the point where your right front tire is making contact with it. With the tires turned to the right, if the vehicle starts moving it will go off the road and not into traffic. This road sign indicates 1. The direction of travel for each lane. 2. You must not enter this area. 3. You may drive in any direction from any lane. 4. You may not turn on this lane. The answer is 1. The direction of travel for each lane. Left lane turn left, center lane straight, right lane straight or turn right. What does this road sign mean? 1. Both lanes travel in the same direction. 2. Divider ahead. 3. To weigh traffic. 4. Merge ahead. The answer is 3. To weigh traffic. Motorists approaching a section of roadway with multiple curves are advised of the roadway hazard ahead with the use of the winding road sign. 
It also indicates that there are three or more curves in a row on the road ahead. When you see a train sounding a signal and approaching within 500 meters, you must 1. Stop and wait for the train to pass. 2. Proceed with a maximum speed to cross the track. 3. Take a detour. 4. Keep going. The answer is 1. Stop and wait for the train to pass. You must stop when a train is visible or sounding a signal and approaching within 500 meters, about 5 city blocks, of the crossing. What does this road sign mean? 1. Hidden intersection ahead. 2. One-way street ahead. 3. Divided highway ahead. 4. Road narrows both sides. The answer is 4. Road narrows both sides. It is used to warn drivers that the road ahead is narrow and they should be prepared to slow down and be cautious. You must turn your headlights on at night, and when you cannot see clearly for more than what distance ahead of you. 1. 120 meters. 2. 150 meters. 3. 170 meters. 4. 200 meters. The answer is 2. 150 meters. When you are driving at night or at any time when you cannot clearly see 150 meters, 500 feet, in front of you, you must turn your headlights on. Daytime running lights are not bright enough to be used at night, also the taillights and instrument panel lights will not be on. When driving in heavy fog, you should use 1. Hazard lights 2. No lights 3. High beam lights 4. Low beam lights The answer is 4. Low beam lights. Use low beam headlights in smoke and fog, as high beams reflect the light back to you, creating glare. If visibility becomes so poor that it is no longer safe to continue driving, slow down and move your vehicle well off the road to a safe location. Turn on your hazard warning lights. Day or night, glare can make you blind. Should you stop if glare makes it difficult to see the road? 1. Drive faster. 2. Slow down. 3. Do nothing. 4. Continue to drive at the same speed. The answer is 2. Slow down. Glare from the sun, reflections, and the lights of other vehicles can affect your vision in the daytime or at night. If glare makes it difficult to see the road, reduce your speed. Ensure your vehicle's windows are properly cleaned inside and outside to improve visibility. What should you do if your headlights stop working? 1. Turn the headlight control off and on. 2. Turn on your hazard lights. 3. If the headlights are still not on, reduce your speed, safely move to the emergency stopping lane or edge of the road, and park in a safe place. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Headlight failure If both headlights fail, turn on your hazard lights, turn the headlight control off and on. If the headlights are still not on, reduce your speed, safely move to the emergency stopping lane or edge of the road and park in a safe place. What does this road sign mean? 1. Divided highway begins. 2. Road under construction. 3. Divided highway ends. 4. Narrow bridge ahead. The answer is 1. Divided highway begins. Divided highway begins, traffic travels in both directions on separated roads ahead. Keep to the right-hand road. Each road carries one-way traffic. Right lane ends ahead. What does this road sign mean? 1. Do not enter. 2. Railway crossing. 3. Do not pass. 4. Keep left. The answer is 1. Do not enter. These signs are located at places where the vehicles are not allowed to enter. It is generally erected at the end of one-way road to prohibit traffic entering the roadway in the wrong direction and also at each intersection along the one-way road. What does the following sign indicate? 1. Use of this road is prohibited. 2. Only light motor vehicles are allowed. 3. There is a narrow passway ahead. 4. Do not enter this road. The answer is 4. Do not enter this road. These signs are located at places where the vehicles are not allowed to enter. It is generally erected at the end of one-way road to prohibit traffic entering the roadway in the wrong direction and also at each intersection along the one-way road. What should a driver do if there is a sign prohibiting a left turn at a red light? 1. Make a U-turn and find an alternate route. 2. Disregard the sign and make the left turn anyway. 3. Proceed with caution after yielding to other traffic. 4. Wait for the green light to make the left turn.
The answer is 4. Wait for the green light to make the left turn. Unless a sign prohibits the turn, the only left turn permitted at a red light is onto a one-way street from a one-way street. This turn is only permitted after the vehicle is brought to a complete stop before the stop line or crosswalk, and if the turn can be made safely after yielding to other traffic. When approaching a solid yellow traffic control light, what should drivers do if they cannot safely stop before the stop line or crosswalk? 1. Continue through the intersection cautiously. 2. Make a U-turn. 3. Speed up to clear the intersection. 4. Stop in the middle of the intersection. The answer is 1. Continue through the intersection cautiously. Drivers approaching an intersection with a solid, not flashing, yellow traffic control light must bring their vehicles to a complete stop before the stop line or crosswalk, unless a point has been reached at the intersection where stopping cannot be done safely. If there is no stop line or crosswalk, vehicles must stop before the intersection. Drivers already in the intersection and facing a yellow light must safely clear the intersection. U-turns are not permitted in urban areas in all of the following situations except 1. On a roadway between intersections. 2. At an intersection controlled by a traffic control signal. 3. Where a sign indicates that U-turns are permitted. 4. At an alley intersection. The answer is 3. Where a sign indicates that U-turns are permitted. In urban areas U-turns are not permitted, on a roadway between intersections, at an alley intersection, at an intersection where one or more of the roadways is an access to a public or private parking lot which the public can access. What does this road sign mean? 1. Right turn prohibited. 2. No U-turn. 3. Left turn prohibited. 4. Road slippery when wet. The answer is 2. No U-turn. The no U-turn sign is a regulatory sign. No U-turn signs are posted at intersections to indicate the driver is not legally allowed to make a U-turn, a turn in the road to go the opposite direction. If you wish to make a U-turn outside an urban area, you must be sure that you can be seen by other drivers for what distance in both directions? 1. 50 meters. 2. 100 meters. 3. 150 meters. 4. 200 meters. The answer is 3. 150 meters. Outside urban areas, rural, U-turns are not permitted. On a curve. On an approach to or near the crest of a hill where the driver of another vehicle cannot see you that is within 150 meters approaching from either direction. In which of the following situations are U-turns not permitted in urban areas? 1. At an intersection controlled by a traffic lights. 2. Where a sign prohibits making a U-turn. 3. On a roadway between intersections. 4. All the above. The answer is 4. All the above. In urban areas U-turns are not permitted. On a roadway between intersections. At an alley intersection. At an intersection where one or more of the roadways is an access to a public or private parking lot which the public can access. When you are deciding whether or not to make a U-turn, your first consideration should be to check. 1. Traffic regulations. 2. Presence of trees fire hydrants, or poles near the curb. 3. Turning radius of your car. 4. Height of curb. The answer is 1. Traffic regulations. U-turns are not allowed, anytime a traffic sign, for example, a no U-turn sign, prohibits them, on curves, hills, and freeways, in weather conditions where you are not able to see clearly, such as in rain, fog. What does this road sign mean? 1. Bumpy road ahead. 2. Falling rock. 3. Steep hill ahead. Be prepared to use a lower gear if necessary. 4. Road closed ahead due to fallen rocks. The answer is 2. Falling rock. The sign indicates a risk of falling rocks and that there may be fallen rocks on the road. The symbol is adapted to the conditions of the location. What does this road sign mean? 1. No entry into intersection. 2. No stopping in the area between the signs. 3. Approaching vehicles must stop, then may proceed with caution. 4. There are no stop signs in the direction of the arrows, proceed with caution. The answer is 2. No stopping in the area between the signs. Do not stop in the area between the signs. This means you may not stop your vehicle in this area, even for a moment. Used in pairs or groups. What does this road sign mean? One. No entry into intersection. 
2. No stopping in the area between the signs. 3. No stopping on the days and times shown. 4. There are no stop signs in the direction of the arrows, proceed with caution. The answer is 3. No stopping on the days and times shown. What does a solid double red light mean for drivers approaching an intersection? 1. Stop and then proceed when safe. 2. Make a right turn if it is safe to do so. 3. Stop and wait for a green light before proceeding. 4. Proceed cautiously through the intersection. The answer is 3. Stop and wait for a green light before proceeding. A solid double red light has the same meaning as a single red light. Turning right at a red light is permitted provided that there is no sign prohibiting the turn. Before making the turn the vehicle must come to a complete stop before the stop line or crosswalk. Complete the turn when it is safe to do so while yielding to any other traffic. You are approaching a stop sign at an intersection with no marked crosswalk or stop line. You must stop within what distance of the intersecting roadway? 1. 3 meters. 2. 5 meters. 3. 4 meters. 4. 2 meters. The answer is 1. 3 meters. If there is no stop line or marked crosswalk at the intersection, you must stop within 3 meters of the intersecting roadway. Once stopped, scan the intersection for pedestrians and other road users. What does this road sign mean? 1. Hospital zone ahead, yield to oncoming traffic. 2. Four-way intersection ahead, through traffic may proceed. 3. Pedestrian crosswalk ahead, yield to pedestrians. 4. Railway crossing ahead. The answer is 4. Railway crossing ahead. Railway crossing ahead serves as an advanced warning to expect changes in required driving conditions such as reduction in speed. A pictogram of a road intersecting a railroad track needs no language translation to let everyone know there is a railway crossing ahead and they need to slow down and pay attention. What does this road sign mean? 1. Local traffic only. 2. Do not enter. 3. Traffic circle ahead. 4. Railway crossing. The answer is 4. Railway crossing. These signs are found at all public railway crossings. A railway crossing sign means drivers must yield to all trains. You must stop when a train is visible or sounding a signal and approaching within 500 meters, about 5 city blocks, of the crossing. When is it permissible for a driver to make a right turn at a red light unless a sign prohibits the turn? 1. Without stopping if the road is clear. 2. After stopping completely and yielding to other traffic. 3. Right turns at red lights are never allowed. 4. Only if a green arrow indicates a right turn is allowed. The answer is 2. After stopping completely and yielding to other traffic. At most intersections, drivers are allowed to make a right-hand turn on a red light. This means turning right after coming to a complete stop when the signal is red. You must obey traffic signs and understand the basic rules to ensure your own safety and the safety of others. Is it permissible to turn right on a red light? 1. Only on one-way streets. 2. After coming to a full stop. 3. Never. 4. By driving straight through. The answer is 2. After coming to a full stop. At most intersections, drivers are allowed to make a right-hand turn on a red light. This means turning right after coming to a complete stop when the signal is red. You must obey traffic signs and understand the basic rules to ensure your own safety and the safety of others. What does this road sign mean? 1. Lane usage sign permitting all turns including left. 2. Advance warning of danger. 3. Right turn lane. 4. No parking from arrows to corner. The answer is 3. Right turn lane. Right lane must turn right sign indicates that vehicles traveling in the rightmost lane are required to make a right turn at the intersection ahead. What does this road sign mean? 1. Lane usage sign permitting all turns including left. 2. No parking from arrows to corner. 3. Advance warning of danger. 4. Lane usage sign meaning right turn only. The answer is 4. Lane usage sign meaning right turn only. This sign directs the driver to turn right only. There could be any reason for it but obeying this signal would lead to safety and hassle-free drive. When getting ready to turn right, you should shoulder check to 1. Make sure another vehicle is not behind you. 2. Make sure another vehicle is not beside you. 3. Make sure another vehicle is not ahead of you. 
4. Make sure you are in the proper lane. The answer is 2. Make sure another vehicle is not beside you. When you are preparing to turn right, watch for cyclists who may ride alongside your vehicle or another vehicle. Remember to do a shoulder check to your blind spots to the right. What is the most effective way to ensure that no vehicles or cyclists are in your blind spot? 1. Sound the horn. 2. Make a shoulder check. 3. Give the correct signals. 4. Check the rear view mirror. The answer is 2. Make a shoulder check. When you are ready to go, do the following. Check to be sure your intended path of travel is clear. Check your inside and outside rear view mirrors. Do a shoulder check to be sure your blind spots are clear. What does this road sign mean? 1. Winding road ahead. 2. Slippery when wet. 3. Bumpy road ahead. 4. Sharp bend in the road. The answer is 2. Slippery when wet. A slippery conditions ahead warning sign assembly is installed in advance of a roadway section where it is desirable to warn motorists of a potential for vehicle skidding due to icy or wet surface conditions. When approaching an oncoming vehicle at night, you should switch to low beam headlights before you get within what distance of it? 1. 150 meters. 2. 300 meters. 3. 100 meters. 4. 200 meters. The answer is 2. 300 meters. Use your low beam headlights when you are following within 150 meters, 1 and 1 half city blocks, of another vehicle. Use your low beam headlights when you are within 300 meters of oncoming vehicles. What does this road sign mean? 1. Bump 150 meters ahead. 2. Stop 150 meters ahead. 3. Come to a complete stop and do not proceed until safe to do so. 4. Stop only if other vehicles are approaching. The answer is 3. Come to a complete stop and do not proceed until safe to do so. A stop sign indicates that your vehicle must come to a complete stop. After stopping, check the intersection carefully for pedestrians and other traffic. When safe, you may proceed. What does this road sign mean? 1. Right lane ends ahead. 2. Hidden intersection ahead. 3. Steep hill ahead. 4. Pedestrian crossing ahead. The answer is 1. Right lane ends ahead. The right lane ends ahead sign means exactly that, the right lane ahead ends. This means if you are already in the left lane, you need to be careful because the cars who are in the right lane will start coming into your lane. Make sure you look ahead, stay sharp and anticipate other cars coming. Properly positioned head restraints can greatly reduce. 1. The body temperature while driving. 2. The risk of injuries due to collisions and sudden vehicle movements. 3. The speed while driving. 4. Collisions on railway crossings. The answer is 2. The risk of injuries due to collisions and sudden vehicle movements. Use your head restraint correctly. Head restraints in the proper position greatly reduce the risk of injuries due to collisions and sudden vehicle movements. What is the ideal distance between your head and a properly adjusted head restraint? 1. Less than 2 inches, 5 centimeters. 2. Less than 4 inches, 10 centimeters. 3. Less than 6 inches, 15 centimeters. 4. Less than 8 inches, 20 centimeters. The answer is 2. Less than 4 inches, 10 centimeters. Use your head restraint correctly. Head restraints in the proper position greatly reduce the risk of injuries due to collisions and sudden vehicle movements. If your head restraint tilts, Move it forward to decrease the space between your head and the restraint. Less than 10 centimeters, 4 inches, is ideal. Transport Canada recommends that if your vehicle has an airbag system, you position yourself at least 1. 15 centimeters from the steering wheel. 2. 5 centimeters from the steering wheel. 3. 35 centimeters from the steering wheel. 4. 25 centimeters from the steering wheel. The answer is 4. 25 centimeters from the steering wheel. Adjust your seat and seat back support properly so that you are at least 25 centimeters, 10 inches, away from the steering wheel. This is the distance recommended by Transport Canada. Be sure you can see over the steering wheel. What does this road sign mean? 1. Pass other traffic on the right. 2. Road turns right, then left. 3. Winding road ahead. 4. Divider ahead, keep right. 
The answer is 4. Divider ahead, keep right. Keep right signs are used in locations where the driver must pass only on the right of a roadway feature or obstruction. The sign will be posted ahead of the obstacle, in order to warn the driver of a traffic island, obstruction or median ahead. Drivers who encounter this sign should keep to the right. What does the following sign indicate? 1. Divider ahead, keep right. 2. One-way road ahead. 3. Rest area ahead. 4. Bypass road ahead, take a detour. The answer is 1. Divider ahead, keep right. Keep right signs are used in locations where the driver must pass only on the right of a roadway feature or obstruction. The sign will be posted ahead of the obstacle, in order to warn the driver of a traffic island, obstruction or median ahead. Drivers who encounter this sign should keep to the right. What does this road sign mean? 1. Bridge or viaduct ahead. 2. River ahead. 3. Construction zone ahead, slow down. 4. Bump or uneven pavement on the road ahead. The answer is 4. Bump or uneven pavement on the road ahead. This sign warns you of an uneven road ahead. It might have multiple severe bumps and general uneven surfaces that could throw your vehicle off its line, so slow down. Vehicles with low suspension could be at risk of scraping the road surface. Your vehicle may skid as a result of hydroplaning. What is the cause of hydroplaning? 1. Ice on the roadway. 2. Your tires riding on top of the water. 3. A flat tire. 4. Overinflated tires. The answer is 2. Your tires riding on top of the water. On wet roads your tires may lose contact with the road surface. This is called hydroplaning. The loss of contact between the road surface and your tires can cause you to lose control of your vehicle. If this happens, do not brake. Release pressure on the accelerator to allow the vehicle to slow. Look and steer where you want the front of the vehicle to go. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, what should you do? 1. Accelerate hard. 2. Stay off both brakes and accelerator. 3. Apply the brakes lightly. 4. Apply the brakes hard. The answer is 2. Stay off both brakes and accelerator. On wet roads your tires may lose contact with the road surface. This is called hydroplaning. The loss of contact between the road surface and your tires can cause you to lose control of your vehicle. If this happens, do not brake. Release pressure on the accelerator to allow the vehicle to slow. Look and steer where you want the front of the vehicle to go. What does this road sign mean? 1. No left turn. 2. Hidden intersection ahead. 3. Traffic island ahead. 4. Right turn only at the intersection. The answer is 1. No left turn. The no left turn sign is a turn prohibition sign that is designed to prevent an accident from occurring by informing drivers that turning left is prohibited. Usually found at intersections, stop signs, yield signs, or other locations where drivers intend to make a left turn. When attempting to get out of a skid, you should look. 1. At the direction you are traveling. 2. At your steering wheel. 3. At the road directly in front of your vehicle. 4. At where you wish to go. The answer is 4. At where you wish to go. Skidding means you have lost control of the vehicle. To regain control, do not touch the brake or the accelerator. Look and steer where you want the front of the vehicle to go. To recover from a skid you should. 1. Steer in the opposite direction to the skid. 2. Steer in the direction you would like the vehicle to go. 3. Apply the brakes hard. 4. Steer straight ahead. The answer is 2. Steer in the direction you would like the vehicle to go. Skidding means you have lost control of the vehicle. To regain control, do not touch the brake or the accelerator. Look and steer where you want the front of the vehicle to go. You enter a curve and due to wet conditions your vehicle starts to skid. What should you do to control it? 1. Pull on the parking brake. 2. Brake hard. 3. Accelerate out of the skid. 4. Stay off the accelerator and brake and just steer. The answer is 4. Stay off the accelerator and brake and just steer. It is very important to keep your foot off the brake pedal if you start to skid. How you steer depends on the direction of the skid. Look and steer in the direction you want the front of the vehicle to go. Point the tires along the center of your lane and do not make large steering adjustments. A braking skid happens? 1. When you accelerate too hard causing the wheels to spin. 2. When you drive too slowly. 
3. When you make a turn too fast. 4. When you apply your brakes too hard. The answer is 4. When you apply your brakes too hard. Braking skid, non-ABS, if your vehicle does not have ABS, a braking skid could occur when you apply your brakes too firmly, causing the wheels to lock. Steering control will be lost. Slippery conditions affect winter traction. How should drivers drive in the winter? 1. Slower. 2. Faster. 3. The same as during summer conditions. 4. All of the above. The answer is 1. Slower. When road conditions are slippery, reduce your speed to allow for the increased stopping distance. What does this road sign mean? 1. Railway crossing. 2. Narrow passage ahead. 3. Sharp bend in the road. 4. Pavement ends. The answer is 2. Narrow passage ahead. What does this road sign mean? 1. Direction sign for children. 2. Children playing in residential area. 3. Playground area sign. 4. School crosswalk ahead. The answer is 4. School crosswalk ahead. School crosswalk sign indicates the right of way for drivers on the approaches to an intersection, or for pedestrians at a crosswalk. What does this road sign mean? 1. Watch for pedestrians. 2. You are entering a playground area. 3. You are entering a school area. 4. You are entering a playground zone. The answer is 3. You are entering a school area. When you approach a school sign without a speed sign attached to it, you are entering a school area. This sign is to alert drivers that children may be walking or crossing the road and you must use caution when driving through the school area. A fluorescent green pentagon-shaped sign indicates what? 1. Slippery surface. 2. Roadworks. 3. Speed check area. 4. School zone. The answer is 4. School zone. Fluorescent yellow-green background pentagon shape indicates school zone slash area. What does this road sign mean? 1. You are entering a playground zone. 2. School crosswalk. Watch for pedestrians. 3. Pedestrians or vehicles may not enter the roadway. 4. School zone ends. The answer is 2. School crosswalk. Watch for pedestrians. This sign alerts drivers to watch for pedestrians. When do school zones end? 1. 250 meters from the beginning of the zone. 2. 150 meters from the beginning of the zone. 3. 500 meters from the beginning of the zone. 4. A traffic sign indicates either a higher speed or the end of the zone. The answer is 4. A traffic sign indicates either a higher speed or the end of the zone. A school zone ends where a traffic sign indicates, 1. A higher maximum speed, or, 2. The end of the school zone. When approaching a school bus with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended on an undivided highway, what should you do? 1. Honk your horn to signal that you are passing. 2. Proceed with caution. 3. Stop at least 20 meters away from the bus. 4. Pass the bus on the left side. The answer is 3. Stop at least 20 meters away from the bus. You must come to a full stop about 20 meters, about 4 to 5 car lengths, away from the school bus. This distance allows drivers of other vehicles behind you to see the flashing lights and students crossing the highway. When do you stop for school bus on a highway divided by a median? 1. Whenever you approach and see one. 2. Never, because they will stop for you. 3. Whenever they stop. 4. Only when you approach a school bus from the rear and its alternating amber lights are flashing. The answer is 4. Only when you approach a school bus from the rear and its alternating amber lights are flashing. When you approach a school bus from the rear and its alternating amber lights are flashing, follow the same procedures as you would for a highway that is not divided by a median. When you approach a school bus from the front and the school bus has its alternating amber or red lights flashing, you may proceed with caution. Watch for pedestrians. Remember, this is only on a divided highway. A school bus with red signal lights flashing is stopped. What does the law require you to do? 1. Sound your horn as you approach. 2. Reduce speed and pass with care. 3. Wait for approaching vehicles to pass. 4. You must remain stopped until the alternating flashing red lights are turned off and the stop sign on the driver's side is no longer extended. The answer is 4. 
you must remain stopped until the alternating flashing red lights are turned off and the stop sign on the driver's side is no longer extended. When you see a school bus that has stopped and has its red lights flashing, you should stop and wait until the arm folds away and all lights stop flashing before proceeding. It is illegal and unsafe to fail to stop for a stopped school bus. What does this road sign mean? 1. Pedestrian control sign. 2. Construction zone. People working. 3. Flag man on duty ahead. 4. School area ahead. The answer is 2. Construction zone. People working. The speed limit in construction zones must be obeyed at all times. This applies even when people and equipment are not working, since hazards such as bumps, fresh oil, and loose gravel may be present. If workers are present, the fines in these areas will be doubled. Obey the flag person's signal. Be prepared to slow down and stop if required. What does this road sign mean? 1. Railway crossing ahead. 2. Oncoming traffic must stop. 3. School zone ahead. 4. Yield the right of way. The answer is 4. Yield the right of way. Yield the right of way to traffic not facing the sign and to all pedestrians waiting to cross and within the crosswalk or intersection. A yield sign indicates that 1. Pedestrians must yield to you. 2. Oncoming traffic must yield to you. 3. You are required to come to a full stop. 4. You must slow down, stop if necessary and go only when the way is clear. The answer is 4. You must slow down, stop if necessary and go only when the way is clear. Yield the right of way to traffic not facing the sign and to all pedestrians waiting to cross and within the crosswalk or intersection. When driving on multi-lane highways, slower traffic should use 1. The left lane. 2. The middle lane. 3. The far right lane. 4. Any lane. The answer is 3. The far right lane. On a multi-lane highway, slower traffic should use the travel lane furthest to the right, unless needing the left lane to turn left. This leaves the left lane available for other drivers to use for passing. What lane should slow-moving vehicles take on multi-lane highways? 1. In the center lane. 2. In the traffic lane to the far left. 3. Does not matter. 4. In the traffic lane to the far right unless the left lane is required to make a left-hand turn. The answer is 4. In the traffic lane to the far right unless the left lane is required to make a left-hand turn. On a multi-lane highway, slower traffic should use the travel lane furthest to the right unless needing the left lane to turn left. This leaves the left lane available for other drivers to use for passing. When leaving the highway, you should use underscore to slow down. 1. An express lane. 2. A weave zone. 3. An acceleration lane. 4. A deceleration lane. The answer is 4. A deceleration lane. Plan ahead. Be in the proper lane well before you reach your exit. Use your turn signal well in advance of the exit to alert other drivers. Move into the deceleration lane if there is one. If possible, do most of the slowing in the deceleration lane. Some deceleration lanes are short, you may need to start to reduce your speed while still on the highway. When you have exited, ensure your signal light is turned off. On a highway, what should you do when you want to take the next exit? 1. Use your turn signal well in advance of the exit to alert the drivers behind you. 2. Move into the deceleration lane if there is one. 3. Plan ahead. Be in the proper lane well before you reach your exit. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Plan your travel route before you set out, and keep it in mind as you drive. Be sure you are in the proper lane well in advance of your exit or turning location. This will help you avoid making quick and dangerous lane changes. If you miss your exit or turn, continue on to the next exit or intersection. What should you do when entering a merging lane? 1. Signal, then stop to wait for an opening in traffic. 2. Signal, then accelerate while merging smoothly into traffic. 3. Do what the vehicle ahead of you does. 4. Signal, then accelerate and enter traffic quickly. The answer is 2. Signal, then accelerate while merging smoothly into traffic. When you are driving behind another vehicle, you should maintain. 1. A minimum of a 6 second following distance. 2. A maximum of an 8 second following distance. 3. A maximum of a 4 second following distance. 4. A minimum of a 2 second following distance.
The answer is 4. A minimum of a 2 second following distance. Under normal road and weather conditions you should drive a minimum of 2 seconds behind the vehicle ahead. When conditions are less than ideal, increase your following distance. In all conditions you should drive at a speed that will allow you to 1. Stop within 60 meters. 2. Stop within 90 meters. 3. Stop within 150 meters. 4. Stop within a safe distance. The answer is 4. Stop within a safe distance. Under normal road and weather conditions you should drive a minimum of 2 seconds behind the vehicle ahead. When conditions are less than ideal, increase your following distance. Driving in an urban area, you should be scanning ahead up to the point where you will be in how many seconds? 1. 12 to 15. 2. 5 to 8. 3. 2 to 5. 4. 7 to 10. The answer is 1. 12 to 15. When you are driving in an urban area, look at least 12 to 15 seconds ahead of your vehicle. This is about 1 to 1 and a half blocks. When you are driving in rural areas, look at least 20 to 25 seconds ahead of your vehicle. This is your visual lead time, which provides you with time to respond to hazards ahead of you. Total stopping distance of a passing vehicle can be calculated as 1. The sum of perception distance, reaction distance and the braking distance of the vehicle. 2. The difference between the perception distance, reaction distance and braking distance of the vehicle. 3. The average of perception distance and braking distance. 4. The ratio between reaction distance and braking distance. The answer is 1. The sum of perception distance, reaction distance and the braking distance of the vehicle. Total stopping distance equals perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. What is perception time, and approximately how long does it take? 1. The time it takes to perceive a potential hazard and make a decision, approximately 1 second. 2. The time it takes to recognize a situation and understand that you need to stop, approximately 0.75 seconds. 3. The time it takes to apply the brakes once a decision to stop has been made, approximately half a second. 4. The time it takes for a vehicle to come to a complete stop after the brakes are applied, approximately 2 seconds. The answer is 2. The time it takes to recognize a situation and understand that you need to stop, approximately 0.75 seconds. What does this road sign mean? 1. Recreation area ahead. 2. Provincial park notification. 3. Destination sign. 4. Pedestrian control sign. The answer is 3. Destination sign. Destination signs provide direction and distance to a destination. What does this road sign mean? 1. Traffic circle ahead. 2. Do not enter. 3. Straight only permitted. 4. Route for large trucks. The answer is 3. Straight only permitted. Permission signs are a green circle on a white square. The action within the green circle is permitted. Under the Alberta Traffic Safety Act, if a death or injury occurs as a result of an impaired offense by a motor vehicle driver, the license will be suspended for 1. 3 years. 2. 3 months. 3. 5 years. 4. 1 year. The answer is 3. 5 years. If a death or injury occurs as a result of an impaired offense, the minimum license suspension is 5 years even for a first offender. You must inform Alberta registries of a name and or address change in accordance with the law, right? 1. Immediately. 2. Within 7 days. 3. Within 14 days. 4. Within 3 months. The answer is 3. Within 14 days. You must apply at a registry agent and person with identification to have your name and or address changed on your driver's license and or vehicle registration within 14 days of the change taking place. What does this road sign mean? 1. Winding road ahead. 2. A sharp bend in the road. 3. Crosswalk ahead. 4. Exit to the right. The answer is 2. A sharp bend in the road. Chevron sign indicates a sharp bend in the road. What does this road sign mean? 1. School bus stop ahead. 2. Bump 120 meters ahead. 3. Traffic control signals ahead. 4. Stop 150 meters ahead. The answer is 3. Traffic control signals ahead.
the signal ahead sign should be placed in advance of traffic lights where the view of the light is obstructed in some way or in areas where accidents are likely to occur. This sign serves as a an additional warning to drivers that it is time to slow down ahead of the upcoming intersection. What does this sign mean? 1. Traffic lights ahead. 2. Detour ahead. 3. Drive slowly. 4. Construction zone ahead. The answer is 1. Traffic lights ahead. The signal ahead sign should be placed in advance of traffic lights where the view of the light is obstructed in some way or in areas where accidents are likely to occur. This sign serves as a an additional warning to drivers that it is time to slow down ahead of the upcoming intersection. What does this road sign mean? 1. Pavement ends 12 feet ahead. 2. Hill ahead. 3. Safety check ahead. 4. Bumpy road ahead. The answer is 2. Hill ahead. This sign is a warning to all vehicles that the road ahead goes down a hill. You should check your brakes before going down the hill. What should drivers do when approaching a green traffic light? 1. Ignore pedestrian walk signals. 2. Assume the light will stay green. 3. Accelerate to clear the intersection quickly. 4. Anticipate that the light will turn yellow and be prepared to stop if necessary. The answer is 4. Anticipate that the light will turn yellow and be prepared to stop if necessary. Drivers facing a solid green traffic control light are permitted to travel through the intersection without stopping, unless required to yield to oncoming traffic when turning left or to pedestrians in the crosswalk when turning right or left. When approaching a green light, anticipate that it will turn yellow. What does a stale green light indicate? 1. The light will stay green for an extended period. 2. The light has been green for a while and will turn yellow soon. 3. The light is malfunctioning and may not change. 4. The light will turn red immediately. The answer is 2. The light has been green for a while and will turn yellow soon. A stale green light means the light has been green for a while and will turn yellow soon. A good tip is to check the pedestrian walk light at the intersection. If it shows the walk symbol, the light will stay green. If it shows the don't walk symbol, be ready to stop. If the traffic light does change, the driver must stop before the intersection if it can be done safely. What should drivers do when facing a flashing green traffic control light? 1. Proceed through the intersection, turn left, or turn right without stopping. 2. Ignore the flashing green light and proceed as normal. 3. Stop and wait for the light to turn solid green before proceeding. 4. Proceed and turn left, or turn right without stopping but yield to pedestrians and other vehicles. The answer is 4. Proceed and turn left, or turn right without stopping, but yield to pedestrians and other vehicles. When you face a flashing green light or a left pointing green arrow and a green light, you may turn left, go straight ahead or turn right from the proper lane. This is called an advanced green light because oncoming traffic still faces a red light. Vehicles facing a green light that is flashing? 1. May turn left. 2 may turn right. 3. May proceed straight through. 4. All the above. The answer is 4. All the above. When you face a flashing green light or a left pointing green arrow and a green light, you may turn left, go straight ahead or turn right from the proper lane. This is called an advanced green light because oncoming traffic still faces a red light. Please subscribe, like, comment and share our channel for more videos.